Grace, how are you? And welcome to Candos Cementa 17. Flo, I'm very well, thank you very much for asking. Excellent. Um, have you been here before? I have. I was one of the people involved in 2013. Uh, not in 2015, but again in 2017. And what do you think of Candos? It's a lovely little town, and I think it could be so much more, and I think we're going to bring it so much more. Oh, excellent. Um, tell us a bit about your work. Okay, uh, for this um, 2017 event, uh, I'm part of the Candos School of Cultural Adaptation, and we are working on the Hemp Initiative. And the idea with the Hemp Initiative is to um, taking the, the demise of the cement works as a starting point, finding other industries that could potentially um, replace part or all of the cement works for the local population. So the Hemp Initiative was a way of um, working with the land, uh, farmers on the land and local craftspeople to expand on the role of hemp uh, which in the past has um, was displaced basically by petroleum and petroleum products because hemp is an amazing resource. You can produce fuels, you can produce food, you can produce fibre. It's a great crop to have in the ground. Uh, you can use it as a rotational crop for, for the farming community. It's a great way of value adding because it uh, matures so quickly and can be cropped for about three or four different purposes. So it's just a wonderful resource that at the moment has suffers from the stigma uh, that was put about basically by the petroleum industry and their affiliated corporations, bodies, um, the oligarchy I like to call them. Wow, I had no idea. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing it then. And you can see an example of what we are doing. Uh, this is 100% hemp. And Fleur has kindly enough contributed some of her brilliant artwork to show the potential of the hemp. It feels beautiful to touch. It's long wearing and it wears in and not out. Fantastic. Thank you, Gilbert. Okay, thank and you. See you on the weekend.